Okay, so in this video, what we're going to talk about is identity demonstrations. Definitely go check out the advanced identity section if you don't understand identity. Also check out the connection module if you don't understand identity. It will give you an insight into all of that, okay? But basically, just to sum it all up, identity is her knowing exactly who you are, okay? Your hobbies, your interests, your passions, your mindsets, your opinions, um, what makes you who you are, what makes you different to the next guy that she's going to meet, who are you, okay? That's identity. But what we're going to cover in this video is not that, it's the demonstrations of identity. So what do I mean by this? You've got all your hobbies, you've got your passions, you've got your interests. Let's just take sport. Maybe you do martial arts. Okay, we've got music. Maybe you play piano. Okay, I can put martial arts, gym, yoga, all of these things, piano, guitar, anything. Okay, we've got other interests. Let's say reading, meditation. Okay, this is just all parts of yours or my personality okay there's some things that i do here yoga piano reading meditation okay but there's all little things and there's probably there's so much more that you do okay there's different hobbies different interests that you have but now what we want to do is we want to be able to take these let's say martial arts gym yoga we want to have a little gambit a demonstration that we can actually give her so she gets an insight into our identity now, let's say, for example, okay, so I'll give you one that I used to do. I used to play a lot of table tennis, okay, when I was younger. I actually used to, I was 11 years old, I used to almost compete. Um, I used to travel around playing table tennis as the 11-year-old kid. Okay, so instead of just telling the girl, you know what, um, I play table tennis, I used to play table tennis, oh, it's fun, yes, it's great. Or, oh, um, I do yoga, it's, uh, I do heated yoga, it's called Bikram yoga. Instead of just giving that type of information, what do I do is I want to give a demonstration. So for a demonstration, and I'm going to explain this, number one, I want interactivity. Okay, this is the most important thing to an identity demonstration. So what I do here is... Firstly, let's say I'm saying I'm playing table tennis. Okay, I used to play table tennis. Now, how can I make this interactive? I need to involve her in a little identity demonstration. Instead of just saying, okay, I play table tennis, I'm going to say to her, okay, well, just give me your hands, go like this. Okay, so imagine when you play table tennis, it's different to tennis because if you hold your hand like this, okay, it's tennis is all about the arm, whereas table tennis is about the wrist. So if you put your hand like this, let me just bend her hand a little bit, this actually gets you the spin. So when I used to play table tennis like this, you actually get a lot of side spin by doing that. And when you go a little bit, a little bit lower, you get top spin. Okay? And uh, basically, now just put your wrist a little bit backwards. And now this is how you hit the ball. Okay? You don't use your arm. You use your wrist. Okay? Something simple like that. I'm, I'm, using a, I'm taking a little aspect of my life. I'm demonstrating it to her. But I'm getting her interacted with it. Okay? So the point of this, firstly, is it's a little gambit, okay? It's a little gambit where it's actually fun, it's interesting for her, and she's involved now in your life. She's got a little insight instead of just saying, oh, I used to play table tennis. Why? Because if you just say, oh, I used to play table tennis, I used to do um, X, Y, and Z, the problem there is, let's use a different color here, the problem there is there is no emotions there's no emotions for her so it's not as powerful okay there's no emotions she's not feeling anything when you're saying it to her you're saying things like oh i used to play table tennis i played table tennis for this place if there's side spin if you hold the, the bat at this angle there's side spin that, that angle is top spin but the moment i'm like okay i'm going to show you i'm going to show you what table tennis is like okay just give me your hands go like this okay and also when i'm talking to her about it I'm showing her my identity because I'm revealing some information that shows her that I know what I'm talking about, okay? 
but the most important thing here is interactivity. So when I talk about yoga, instead of just saying, oh, you know what, I do heated yoga, okay, which I do, I do heated yoga, it's very intense. So instead of just saying that to her, I say, okay, um, have you done yoga before? Maybe she says no, then I'll say to her, okay, so I want you, okay, just uh, close your eyes for a second, okay, face me, put your one hand uh, forward, Okay, right now you're actually using your balance, but you're also using your presence at the same time because you're focusing on the moments because your eyes are closed. You're focusing on just your body, but you're also building strength because just hold your hands a little bit higher. You're also building strength. Okay, little insights, a little demonstration into, okay, I do yoga. That now she knows that I do yoga. I know about it, but I'm involving her in it so that she actually gets more of an emotional experience. Okay, you can do this with everything. I used to do it with uh, with with everything okay that's what i'm talking about it's a piano okay instead of just telling her you know what i play piano okay um no so go like this give me your fingers now obviously you need to know about the things that you're doing otherwise you can't do these identity demonstrations okay but go like this okay so you know most people the uh, um, these three fingers are very weak because when they pick things up like a pen they're using these fingers Okay, no one uses these other two fingers when they're picking this up, when they pick a glass up, they're always using these fingers. Okay, no one really is using the pinky much. So our pinky and the, the finger next to it is very weak. So when you play piano, you actually have to build up the strength. Okay, so just go like this. Now what I want you to do is lift one finger at a time. Okay, you can lift your thumb easily, you can lift this finger easily, you can lift this finger, but the moment that you just have to lift these two, it's really difficult for you. Okay, because those fingers are weak. And in piano, each finger is as important as the other one. Okay, you have to train each finger up. Now, what am I doing here? I'm showing her aspects of my life. I'm giving her a demonstration into my identity. Okay, but I'm also involving and getting interactivity. Okay, in a, in a fun way. Okay, where I'm involving her in a fun way. And now there's an emotional experience at play. So what you need to do is you need to have little identity demonstrations for everything. For the moment you start talking about martial arts, gym, yoga, your uh, piano, guitar, reading, meditation, okay, whatever interests, passions, hobbies you have, you need to have little identity demonstrations. You can kind of model mine, but the way you first need to go about it is you need to understand uh, the passion or the interest. Okay, everything that I just said to you about piano is obviously real. Everything that I said to you about yoga and table tennis is real. I'm not coming up with random things, okay? So I'm giving her an insight into my personality. I'm also demonstrating some qualities to her, like off the, um, the piano one, I demonstrated intelligence. Okay, go back and watch the DHV module, and you'll actually see how important it is to demonstrate specific qualities. Okay, so there's a lot going on here. But this is something that you always need to understand. So to summarize this, you list all your interests, your passions, your hobbies. Okay, this is all explained in the advanced identity module. And then once you've got this, now you think to yourself, how can you come up with an interactive identity demonstration with each of them? Okay.